What was billed as an open mic brawl turned instead into a relatively respectful and thoughtful debate. Tim Walls appeared to have opening jitters and misspoke when asked about the current situation between Iran and Israel. Iran, or I, uh, Israel's ability to be able to defend itself is absolutely fundamental. Eventually, he got around to blaming the former president for the current mess in the Middle East. So Iran is closer to a nuclear weapon than they were before because of Donald Trump's fickle leadership. J.D. Vance turned it around to the ones now in charge. And Governor Waltz, you blame Donald Trump. Who has been the vice president for the last three and a half years? And the answer is your running mate, not mine. Iran, which launched this attack, has received over $100 billion in unfrozen assets thanks to the Kamala Harris administration. On Americans' number one issue, the economy, Walls again went retro, pointing to Trump's record as president. He gave the tax cuts that predominantly went to the top class. What happened there was an $8 trillion increase in the national debt, the largest ever. Vance quickly responded with a comeback about how people are suffering today. Honestly, Tim, I, I think you got a tough job here because you've got to play whack-a-mole. You've got to pretend that Donald Trump didn't deliver rising take-home pay, which of course he did. You've You've got to pretend that Donald Trump didn't deliver lower inflation, which of course he did, and then you've simultaneously got to defend Kamala Harris's atrocious economic record. One of the more animated exchanges came on the abortion issue when Vance challenged Walls on a controversial bill that he championed just last year. The statute that you signed into law, it says that a doctor who presides over an abortion where the baby survives, the doctor is under no obligation to provide life-saving care to a baby who survives a botched late-term abortion. That is, I think, That's whether you're pro-choice or pro-abortion, that is fundamentally barbaric. And Vance was on his game all night long. As for Walls, he ran into trouble by misspeaking when asked about changing his position on gun control. He said he became friends with school shooters. Yeah, I sat in that office with those Sandy Hook parents. I've become friends with school shooters. And he also got called out on lying about saying he was in Hong Kong during the deadly Tiananmen Square protests back in 1989 when he wasn't. But I've not been perfect, and I'm a knucklehead at times. Many times I, uh, I will talk a lot. I will get caught up in the rhetoric. Walls did try and end strong, bringing up the contested 2020 election in order to paint Trump and Vance as a threat to democracy. He is still saying he didn't lose the election. I would just ask that. Did he lose the 2020 election? Tim, I'm focused on the future. Did Kamala Harris censor Americans from speaking their mind in the wake of the 2020 COVID situation? That is, a damning, to... that is a damning non-answer. As for answers as to who might win this upcoming presidential election, however, the VP debate didn't seem to settle anything at all. David Brody, CBN News, Washington.